fast moving targets from the Eurosonic Norderslag Festival. Two days of uh, Buma music and meets uh, attack. And in the background, you've got a lot of uh, a little bit of rock music to get the, the thing yes. going. <laughs> Hi, um, who are you and what uh, uh, do you do? I'm Todd Hansen. I'm the uh, head of program at South by Southwest Interactive Festival. And um, uh, I'm, I've been going there for the last seven or eight years every right. day. I love the festival, big festival. Yes. Uh, so if, if you are at, at, at a party of people who are not in this uh, industry, how, how do you uh, describe it? Um, well, South by Southwest is huge, first of all, and it's a very serendipitous event. We really encourage everybody to just come with a really big open mind, go to a lot of sessions they probably haven't gone to before, go check out industries that you might not know a lot about. Um, again, it's kind of the open mind principle, like we were talking earlier. Like, you kind of got to just jump in feet first and hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, um, um, so you're, you're uh, responsible for um, for the the, the the programming of the digital uh, yeah. stuff. Five five days or something. Is, five is days. Five yes. days of, of sessions and and everything. Um, um, can can you tell me something about how do you do that uh, uh, programming? Because there's right. so much happening in, the, in the, the digital world. Yeah, I mean, so we really rely on the community, and so we have this thing called the panel picker, which we open up um, in the summer, um, where people can submit ideas. And so we get about 5,000 idea submissions, and then we have a whole process where we, internal process, and we have an advisory board, and um, we have public voting too, where that just kind of like distills down kind of the ideas that bubble to the top, and then we kind of start programming from there. So we really, really rely on like the tech community to tell us what's going on. You know, like, you know, there are some constant themes, consistent themes year over year, but like as new things bubble up and we start seeing a, a larger portion of context starting to source in one area that's kind of where the light goes off and we're like we need to be walking over here now yeah so so so, so what what sort of uh, um, uh, trends or or or, um, um, or subjects have you seen or have you heard of last year that are will be a part of the program this year so kind of the two bigger areas one I mean the health and med tech space for us is becoming really big where we're doing a lot of programming around that but then we're also doing an expo around that so not super hardcore um, like hospital tech but more around like wearables and biotech and synthetic biology kind of really out there stuff and then also like in the intelligent future section which is um, kind of a track of programming that really focuses on artificial intelligence which is really huge this year internet of things all the connected devices obviously going back into wearables um, those are kind of the two bigger areas that are really we're seeing a lot and also um, well smart cities smart cars Transportation basically is a huge thing this yeah. year. Okay, so, so looking forward uh, to that. Um, you're uh, here now to be uh, part of the jury, yep. um, uh, and because there will be 12 uh, startups uh, active in the uh, in, in the music and, and the tech yeah. scene, they're going to pitch for you uh, uh, later today. So, what are the things you look for uh, in a startup? What I look for in a startup, so like the one, pretty much doing these here and there, and in the United States. I, I'm always looking for a startup that's, you know, it sounds kind of generic, but has a fresh take on an idea in a space where there's a lot of repetition, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that is really useful to me. You know what I mean? But taking myself out of the picture, you know what I mean? But seeing like where, like it's almost like a good song. Where's the hook? Oh, that app really has a great hook. Totally get it. Why they're doing it. So what am I looking for? Um, fresh idea or something that's hitting a problem I didn't even know existed. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the whole thing with a startup. Like you're trying to solve for X. You're trying to solve a problem for people. And sometimes people don't even know they have the problem until the startup shows up and it's like, oh, that's perfect. I didn't even know I needed it. Like that's the best case scenario. Yeah. Does that happen all the time? No. <laughs> no, of course not. Hey, and, and, and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, music startups are, are, are mm -hmm. important in uh, South South as well. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you look at that, music space are the specific uh, trends and things you see happening over uh, over there it seems to be a really big focus obviously on music discovery which kind of gets a little frustrating for me just because how much music dis how many takes on music discovery can we have yeah. um, but that's okay because without it people don't get discovered and just because there's so many more bands it's so much easier to get music out there than ever um, discovery does have to be kind of at the forefront. Yeah. So that's one. That's that's one of the things. Um, I'm also really big on um, how people experience live music together, and uh, whether that's and especially with like VR happening and like how that's going to affect like how people have a concert experience or live music experience or how artists are able to push their art out. So 
yeah, I mean, roughly, those are the things I'm looking for. Yeah. Hey, I, I always go to the uh, Accelerator Days, the Startup Accelerator yeah. uh, a program of South by Southwest. And then I, you can see during the whole day in the all different fields, uh, the, yeah. the, the startups uh, you all have selected. Mm -hmm. They are all so good in presenting. Yes. How do you do that? Well, they spend, oh, like we were talking earlier, they spend a lot of time. It's a whole process um, with uh, Chris, who runs the Accelerator, where they do a lot of coaching. They have a lot of mentors, and a lot of the judges will work directly with the startups to tell them how to tell them exactly what they need to hear in order to make a decision about whether they win or if they'd want to invest in them later. So many deals happen even outside of the Accelerator stage. Yeah. Like, it's such a big platform for yeah. them, so. Hey, um, um, uh, so there are times that I think when I look at the startup days and, and the things, sometimes it seems like that we are maybe too, um, maybe sometimes it seems that there's too much focus on the presentation. Sometimes yeah. I think, what are we judging? Are we judging the, the quality of the guy on, on stage and telling the storytelling? Right. Uh, or, or the idea, the product, the, the market, etc. Yeah, exactly. I mean, some ideas are so large, especially in a startup, that you can't do it in five minutes. I mean, that's in some ways, I guess that's where the questions come in handy for the jury or the judges to kind of dig in deep. But uh, to your point, some of those questions are too big to be answered really fast. Um, yeah, it's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't know. There should be a format change, I think, in some ways. We're just kind of all stuck in yeah. a cookie cutter way of doing it, but that's all right. Yeah. Hey, and and um, uh, this, uh, of course, is about uh, technology changing an industry, changing the yeah. music industry, for example. Um, how does uh, technology change the event uh, industry? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so that's one thing we've really battled with because we do a lot of our own, we build all of our own tech in-house. It's up by Southwest. We don't really go out and use anybody else. We really pride ourselves in that. So you know, how do we basically, for us, it's like how do we get the information our attendees need the moment that they need it, you know, whether it's like by using beacons so when they pass a club, they know who's playing and they don't have to look at their schedule, it just gets pushed to their phone. Or how do they know when somebody that might be in their network is around them and is, you know, 20 yards away and they can, you know, message them real quick and go over and see them. Like making community happen more efficiently and faster, I think is our job. And I think that's where tech kind of comes in handy. We have to guide them through the experience and tech can, can do that. Yeah, hey, and recommendation for all the sessions that yeah. are there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we want, like to the music thing, we have a discovery problem in a lot of ways because we do so much content. So you used to be able to do it when it was smaller, kind of on foot and jump from one session to the next. Now you have to kind of walk three blocks down to another venue. Um, and you want to be sure that those people get into that room. So we need to be, do a better job of showing how many people are in that room yeah, so yeah. they can actually get into the session yeah. they just walked three blocks for. Yeah. So, so, so will we see uh, th we're th working things on, like that? Yeah, yeah we are. We're, we're working on a lot of those things. Hopefully the room capacity thing is still a little ways out, but we fix that this year by just doing much larger rooms all over the place. Oh, so yeah. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, um, what, what, um, of course you're here as part of the jury, are there, yeah. other, are there other reasons for you that, that make this uh, event interesting? Oh, well, it's my first time in the Netherlands, so um, I go to a lot of different festivals and conferences just to kind of check out what other people are doing, yeah. and so that whenever I get a chance to do something international, it's great, just because the communities are so similar but then so different. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've only been here 24 36 hours, so okay. <laughs> I'm still getting my feet well, wet. Well, it is a really nice uh, festival, and like, like I said to you, there's, of course, the festivals are really, really different, yeah. but the, 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 there, is, there are similarities as well, and that makes uh, Groningen uh, is, mm -hmm. is, a, is a relatively small uh, city, so you yeah. can do everything uh, on food to go to all the oh, gigs totally. that are, uh, like uh, South by Southwest, yeah. there's a, a big, there's an official program, but there's so much happening mm -hmm. uh, that's not official, but it's really good as well, so it's... it's uh, I mean, I went to, I met up with somebody I've just met like two days before on email and met him at a, uh, at a show at a rug store or a carpet store, I think, like throw rugs or whatever. I forget who was playing. It's a shame because I met him right after the show. And then, you know, like South by Southwest, walked down two different alleys and then opened a door and then saw another band for a little bit. I don't know if any of it was official. It didn't really matter. Like, no. and, but that's good. Like, yeah. That makes it fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks very much, and uh, good luck uh, this uh, and, and uh, all the wisdom uh, for the for the jury later on. Uh, all today. right. Yeah, okay. definitely. Thanks. Thank you.
kijk uh, vandaag, uh, watch uh, later today and you will see all the, the, all the pitches, the 12 pitches of startups uh, in the music uh, and tech uh, scene. And later on today, um, you'll hear, hear uh, who, who's been the winner. Um, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, if you watch live now, uh, keep on doing so later on today. Uh, if you watch this on demand, you know that you can see all the other interviews we've uh, done at uh, Buma Music Meets Tech as well. Thanks.